What the heck? What? All right, guys, super exciting. First time of Leon going to official. Congressional Curry, and you have a long time. This is actually one of the first <laughs> one I've been to locally as well. Let's go check it out. Oh, we need the big up. He knows. He doesn't know. And of course, we need the hollow lab filter right there because you never know what it is. Stop destroying my son's life. It's been so long since I've been in the fish <laughs> Not that long, come on. <laughs> That's my mom. Oh. <laughs> Standing there. <laughs> she totally blend in. <laughs> Here's the importance of getting the stroller first. That's the beautiful. I'm spin it around an aisle while checking out different fish, right? Ha ha. You're like this. Little black, black box fish. Oh. Yeah. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I've kept them before, but like mine were disappeared. It disappeared after a week. Disappeared? It disappeared. Oh look how, how cute that is. Yeah, right? They have like really unique pattern. I've never seen pattern like that. This one too. Interesting. Yeah, that's a really interesting pattern. Guys, is this like a regular yellow cube box? I'm not seeing this. Black box fish, yes, but like that pattern, I've never, never seen this. This is actually a really cool setup. Look at these guys. These are uh, mud skipper. We get a lighter color one down here, but over here, oh, you see that big dude right there? That's a big fella. Same thing right here. Look at that. Mud skipper. How cool is that? I think he's probably African mud skipper. I think. Hmm. Cool setup. Would love to do a setup like this one of these days. Say, do not put axolotl with fish, but today we actually get some white cloud minnows with the axolotls. We're breaking the rules, man. But look at these guys. Cute little fellas, eh? All right, so here are what we're looking for. White cloud minnows. So if you have to keep fish with axolotl, I think, excuse, me. excuse you, <laughs> excuse you. So if you have to keep fish with um, axolotl, white cloud is probably the best bet. Um, they prefer cold water just like axolotls and they don't have sharp rays. The only thing is that they're probably going to get, get eaten eventually by the axolotl, but if you're okay with that, they will make the uh, acceptable tank mate if you really want to keep fish. If possible, can we get the larger ones? The larger yeah, ones? Yeah, if possible. Yeah, no issues at all. Okay, the thing we're looking at right now is actually this right here. Honestly, I haven't seen these guys at the fish store ever. I've seen them on by the curry, you know. I've always wanted to try these because um, I've been looking for a small schooling fish for the 45 gallon tank. Um, and people just not have any luck with them. So I'm really surprised to find them here. I'm kind of curious how they're doing. Oh, by the way, we actually had a uh, reef escape. And today it's uh, bringing sun out as well. Dan got her daughter too. <laughs> All right, so here are the fish that's ready for sale. One thing I really like about Reef Escape is that they quarantine their fish, like food quarantine. Uh, not many stores do this at all, so this is fantastic. But also because of that, the price is slightly higher, which is justifiable. So there are really nice tanks at Reef Escape. Um, this is being one of them. Look at this, this is like a room divider. Eventually, in my future house, I would love to have something like this. In war tank, that can be viewable on both sides. And one thing I really like about this tank is actually all the zinnias. Uh, tank been here for a long time and they always have seen it in here and it just adds so much waves and motion. But also look at the sand bed. Look at all these feather duster. I just kind of grew on it. It just shows how mature system is and check out this clam. And of course, also my other uh, really favorite schooling fish, Queen Chromis. And look at this rabbit fish, it's beautiful, right? All right, this is cool, but let's check out that tank right there. Look at the baby right there. <laughs> Look at this! Dude, this is gonna be ridiculous. And it's kind of hard to get a sense of scale. Maybe like, if I jam myself, can you see how big this is? This is a nice chunky tank. It's like a, it's like a shallow cube. Looks like they're ra running Radeon, possibly G4 with a diffuser, or G3. Just look at this, look at the depth. And look at the size of this Monty Cap. I think it's Monte Cap at least. I'm brushing up on my SPS. This is such a good statement piece of the store. When you walk in, you just see this guy right here. It's beautiful. And besides saltwater, of course, we also got some nice right here. 
and it looks like they're in the process of setting up a nice big tank here as well. <laughs> Look at this little van. That's cool. That's a cool little rest seat system there. Oh, it's feeding time. He usually minds his own business, but when it comes to food, he is a pot. I hope you don't mind him. Like, oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh wow. Where are you looking? Well, so much of being an ambush hunter, huh? They have such beautiful, complex eyes, and he can't figure out where the food is. Wow. I'm pretty surprised how active it is. Oh, yeah. I thought they just kind of wait for the food to drift past. Hey, buddy. Come on. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't see that guy. He's a crazy. Oh, no. He likes to hang out in here sometimes. I didn't even notice in the beginning. Check this out. That's actually a blending. I've never seen that. Look at the look at the stripe. I was hiding now. Look at this long spine urchin. I've always liked one, but uh, I feel like they're a little bit too destructive. They move things around too much. But they're pretty cool, aren't they? Oh, look at this blending. Blending's out. Look, it's wild. I wonder what kind of blending this is. I've never seen that. Looks like looks like almost like tiger stripes kind of deal going on in the body. Really active fish. It's uh, definitely uh, something different from your standard like. By color, it seems to kind of hop along the rock a lot more than by color blenny. Really cool little dude. Lots of interesting things here. My, uh, I see bigger shop. sister merch shop. Yeah, make sure you support. Oh, oh no! Uh, Teespring.com, Mighty Nano Tank. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a tip. Oh, baggy bag. That's awesome. Contains the smell. Here's our second stop. Blue Ribbon Aquatics. Um, they sell koi and they sell a lot of like corals and fish and stuff like that. This is one of the classics, uh, one of my favorite store in the Manassas area in Virginia. So a lot of you guys asked me about the clowns that I got. Um, the pair of Mocha Da Vinci clowns I got actually came from here, Blue Ribbon Koi. They special ordered it for me. Uh, this was about three and a half years ago when those kind of clownfish came out not that long ago from CM Reef and they were able to hook it up. And throughout the years, whenever I need clownfish, especially designer clowns, usually I come here first. Because as you can see, they usually have um, nice selections of different clownfish. Basically this entire aisle is dedicated to different clowns and designer clowns. Proven Aquatics usually is one of kind of like my first stop when I'm looking for a uh, new clownfish. Really interesting fish today is this guy right here. This is a seamoth. Also known as Jet Blaney, according to them right here. Look at this. So this fish is just really active. It's like non-stop crawling around. And they're telling me that they're essentially like a, almost like a dragon net. They eat like copepods pots and stuff like that. And they will maybe climb up like this to a high point in the tank and then they glide down back to the floor. It's just really, really cool. They get a little bit larger though. Right now this guy is pretty small, um, finger for scale. They do get up to maybe five to six inches. I've never seen that good. Geometric flame hot fish. Yeah, these guys are supposed to be really cryptic. Like, you may not see it again. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so they're good, they're great for nanos. Yeah. They're great for picos and nanos. Well, they have a really impressive display tank here, but I'm not 100% sure if I can get it properly because there's a pretty bad glare usually on this tank. Let me see. It's a nice collection of SPS and a really nice collection of reef fish. And of course, some of my favorite big giant clams right here. We got Teresa and we got this Maxima that we've been eyeballing for a long, long time. Just always fun to kind of take a look and see what's going on in this nice large display tank. And coming right over here, we got a nice little well, it's, I don't, it's not really a cute tank, but this display tank has been here for a while as well. The inter interesting thing about this tank, uh, the long fin clowns that have been in here for a long time. The next morning. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Today is Monday, Columbus Day. To continue the fish store tour, unfortunately, Ben and Danu gotta work today, so they're not here. However, today, I do still have my son, Leon, dragging him out to Fantastic, a Fedric, uh, and not a great local fish store. All right, so here we go. Fantastic of Frederick. 
Um, my house is strategically placed in between all these different stores. So every, every store I go to usually takes about half an hour. Um, so usually either I come up to the Frederick area, I go down to Virginia area. But today, it looks pretty well stocked. Lots of good stuff. Man, look at these nice big comedy right here. Oh, check these out. Not too shabby, huh? One thing I like about Fantastic is the, the price, actually. Um, good selection of fish that a lot of people like, and the price is always really good. Each week they'll release a almost like an email blast with all the price and all the discount of that week. Uh, so if you're looking for good value, I think Fantastic is definitely the place to go to check out. And as you can see, the, the storefront is decent size. And recently they expanded upstairs, so they do like fresh water as well, and the display tank's nice. This display tank has matured a lot. But sometimes it's hard to record the display because there's also glare from the street. Let's check these out. Oh, look at this guy right here. That's beauty. Huh? Lots of goodies here. And today, because Columbus Day, there's a special sales going on. And I thought today would be a nice, nice opportunity to recharge my cleanup crew. And to start things off, I'm gonna pick up a couple of the Trocus snails. Trocus snails are one of my favorite snails because usually they can write themselves and they, they work hard and they do a good job cleaning all around the tank. All right, next up in my tank, I only have one Nessaria snail. It's been there for years, so let's, let's give him some friend. Got this little guy right here. We'll pick up uh, three. Let's do three. All right, guys, this last one is gonna be a surprise to all of you guys. Uh, recently, I took the emerald crab out, but we're gonna reintroduce them because once they left the tank, the bubble algae just went gangbuster. So until the vibrant kicks in, we're gonna rely on a little biological filtration here. So I'm gonna pick up two small, tiny emerald crab today. I know, I know. All right, guys, here's our last stop. I think it's in the frame. Let me try one more time. Here's our last stop, Rick's Fish and Pet Supply. This store is probably just five minutes away from Fantastic. So usually when me and my buddies come here to Fantastic, we'll also swim by Rick's and vice versa. All right guys, so this is my jam right here, aisle to aisle of fish and corals. Now in terms of coral selection, it may not have as many as for example, like uh, the neighbor Fantastic, but they more than make up for it in terms of like some of the oddball stuff that they get whether it's fish or inverts, stuff like that. So it's always worth a visit. And I think like one of the showpieces that I've been throwing on for a while is actually this elegance coral. Look at the size of this. 700 bucks. But look at the size of this guy right here. Eh? Is that a tube anemone? Kind of interesting. And look at this clown just kind of chilling in here. And a uh, reef lobster. Again, lots of... Wait, what is that? Oh, that's interesting too. They have a... It looks like an algae scrubber right here. Interesting. I think those are all soft. What is this? It's a Leon in the wild. <laughs> oh, look at that. They have some Ricodius. I didn't even see that. But check this out. Look at this baby blue tang. If my 150 it's up, or if I'm sure that 150 will be up within a couple months, I would have gotten this guy right there. I've been on the lookout for beautiful baby blue tang, and that seems to be one of them. One thing I saw today that blew my mind is actually, look at this. Look at this lime fish. If you're looking for lime fish, this is it. Um, at some point, I would love to keep one. Just look at the size of this. All right, this is cool. Um, tuxedo urchin, I've been trying to find a baby one. I'm kind of kicking myself of not picking up one at I think Reef Blusa in New York. They have like a tiny baby. Uh, this, this is Pretty decent size, almost like golf ball size. I want something a little bit smaller, maybe half the size if possible. So you can like last a little longer in a 45 gallon tank. But it seems like they only have this size right now. I'll keep looking. And I've been eyeing that long spine urchin. It's actually grown quite a bit in this tank, unless it's a different one. Uh, it's either gonna be long spine urchin or tuxedo urchin. You won't believe this. What is this? Electric yield? Is this for real? No, sorry, no guarantee. Rubber gloves? Oh man, okay, this is a legit one. Yeah, this is actually an electric eel. What the heck? What? What is this? I know they get much larger. I remember uh, when I was young and in Hong Kong at Fifth Street, they actually have like a huge tank and it was just like a bunch of electric eel. So I, I do believe they get much larger. Look at the holes. I think uh, like it generates uh, electricity up there. Look at it. Oh, wow. They got some fish in there, feeder fish. So $300 electric eel. This is crazy. This is the first time I'm seeing these 
at the actual local fish store. This is nuts. And whoa, this is what I think it is. African tiger fish. I think I've seen this fish in an episode of like, I think it's the Reef Monster where they went and go fishing for these like crazy fish. And this is the one with like the long teeth. I think, I think this is it. I'm not 100% sure, but African tiger fish, nuts. Okay, I guess we, uh, we gotta go. But check this out. This is cool, isn't it? They're selling pets. Oh, what is this? Dwarf baby tears, maybe? Looks like dwarf baby tears. But oh, that's pretty cool. Rick's is kind of like a mom and pop store. It's like a nice mix of uh, salt water, fresh water, and also we got some reptile and little mammals. It's kind of like a catch all. So, again, this really reminds me of um, those. Oh, sorry, I'll go back this way. <laughs> this really reminds me of one of those uh, old school mom and pop stores, which a lot of them have shut down. But obviously, Rick is doing something right. This uh, store is surviving and thriving. And it seems like a lot of people come here, really enjoy the experience here. So if you're down in Frederick area, be sure to check out Rick's. Also check out um, Fantastic. Both great stores. What is in here? Oh, look at his son Connor. Beautiful. It's a uh, Hatch and May. Is it friendly? Let's see. Can't tell. Not sure of a step. But it's not shying away, so maybe he is. Yeah, he sees himself. What's going on, buddy? Oh, he's getting excited. Getting excited. Yeah? Up? Oh, he, he's willing to step up. Cute little guy. Here's an example. Lots of nice driftwoods right here. But again, there's like a catch-all. All kinds of stuff here. Oh. If I still have my parrots, I would love to have a tree like this. All right, we got a sun setting, heading home, just in time for dinner on a nice weekend. See you guys next Sunday at 12.30 p.m. sharp. As you know, I have some major bubble LG issue in a 45-gallon tank. Uh, in the past, I have used this product.